the Epic Verse Podcast. Really, you know what's even better though? Is the one giant animal that can't stop having sex. Can't stop. Won't stop. And that's the cane toad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude! We have a you, list you, here. You like, have to talk about the can toad, man. Yeah, we have, have a list here of like the ten dumbest toad. animals, and we gotta go through this because yeah. some of these things are just embarrassing. All right, but first, Ben has to yeah. give the spiel. I think on this that. might be the same list. It's the, yeah, they're on, they're number ten on the list on this yeah. list. Yeah, okay. They're found in oh. several locations, including including northern Australia, South America, and mainland Central America. Cane toads have long been labeled as really stupid animals. The world's largest toad, it has the diet that includes both living and deceased matter, and that trait goes beyond their meals. These aggressive creatures can be found openly having physical relations with anything. None of you can be first, but a whole bunch of you can be next. That means sex. Live or dead. Without hesitation, they assault rats, <laughs> lizards, snakes, and anything else that moves. And obviously these creatures love physical intimacy, to say the least. And if it's about propagating the species, we're confused. The females are extremely fertile. Only one female is capable of laying nearly 30,000 eggs at the same time. So <laughs> let's just stop for a moment and realize that these animals will literally just <laughs> chase everything down, yeah. even if it's not running. Mm -hmm. And they will bang it. Yep, Sounds like me try. when I was a teenager. Wow, that's wow. that's weird. <laughs> All right, now. All righty then. But uh, apparently, yeah. they're also extremely toxic. Yeah, and so they sound they, like, toxic. They show up everywhere to try to hump everything, and they just like <laughs> even if you eat them, you just die. Yeah. So they're just annoying. Apparently, they're extremely annoying for people too. Yeah. Can you and imagine like, just looking down and seeing a little toad just humping your your foot or something? And the craziest thing is. Cane toads are literally a threat to biodiversity because they're poisonous, predatory, adaptive, and competitive. And they're toxic wow. at any stage in their life. And Gee. their ingestion, the ingestion of them can kill native predators. And they pose both a risk. Or they pose a risk to both native animals and pets. So like they're literally just the bane of everybody's existence. And mm -hmm. you know where they live? They live in Australia. Oh, of course. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Apparently the females produce like thirty thousand eggs or something too, which is that's like a lot of eggs. That's a lot. They yeah. are so, like wow. Yeah, geez. I don't so, like the cane toads. Yeah, Australia I don't like those trying things. to like. Yeah, new art research on cane toads in northern Australia has discovered a way to control the cane toad invasion using parasites and toad communication signals. <laughs> Biologists say that controlling toads has been difficult, as as the things that kill them will often kill frogs. Um, wow. <laughs> they're trying to get what rid the of the frick? toad problem, but the toads reproduce so much they just can't. That's the insane. The world's going to get taken over by these stupid cane, cane toads, toads, probably. Well, you know what? Uh, what we really need to do is go to South or Central America and find a cane toad. Wow. Well, and then wait, what? that cane toad. Yeah, they live in South and Central America, too. Oh, okay. Wow. They're so they're, they're just everywhere, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And they're growing, and they're going to absolutely yeah. take over the world. They apparently got into <laughs> freaking Florida, and we're all just going to get humped to up. death by by toads. It's considered to be one of the worst invasive species in the world. Yeah, yeah. You want to know something even scarier? A cane toad's average lifespan in the wild is five to ten years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's basically well, an unstoppable force. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're horny. Amazing. They, live for, they can live for a decade. They, they produce like a ton of babies. They produce a ton of babies and they're toxic. <laughs> In every sense of the word. Wow. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the uh, other dumb animals need to unite to, to take on to the... take out the cane toad. Yeah. Well, well apparently like... some of these dumb animals are so dumb that they couldn't do anything to save themselves at all <laughs> yes, they try to climb up themselves and and die uh -huh. yeah like that that parrot owl yeah this thing yeah this this parrot owl is called the kakapo it it lived on a tiny island south of new zealand um and apparently when it was growing up and evolving it didn't have it's it's a flightless bird too which is like also yeah. makes it dumb but Apparently, it never developed, like, any kind of self-preservation instincts. And so, it just didn't know what to do when things tried to kill it. 
when it just sits there when threatened wow. or in danger it simply stands still that's it it just <laughs> it freezes until the danger passes but typically it doesn't because like a cat will see it and it'll just go yeah <laughs> and just not move like yeah. it's like oh okay well mm -hmm. you're dead, you know, it's, it's dead. <laughs> and apparently because of how dumb they are they are now well, less than 200 in the world <laughs> Yep. Jeez. Yep. And then yeah, also, they're gonna be dead. They're all. They're all gonna be dead. It's well, gonna... and then not only that, but um, they their mating call apparently is so like loud and cacophonous that it actually like confuses the female. So like mating is like a thing that just does not happen very often with them. So they can't reproduce often, and it's they're true. really stupid and can't preserve their life. To attract females, the male will inflate to the size of a basketball, make a loud, low-frequency tone that can be heard up to three miles away. The male will do this up to eight hours every night for three months. Oh, jeez. And, yeah. Wow. And then not only that, but apparently um, females are only interested in mating, like, every, like, two to three years. Lionel is the first. And soon all the males are booming, as they call to the females. But will the females respond this year? Like this thing is trying to die to every two to four years, what, yeah. What is its so, lifespan if it if it doesn't die? That's what I'm trying to find that's out right question. now. Yeah, it's like three years yeah. or something. <laughs> Probably forty to eighty years. Holy. Holy cow! That's a that's an ancient bird right there. Yeah, they live. Yeah, they well, just... I, I guarantee you, most of them don't ever live to be that old. Yeah, no. right. Well, obviously not. If there's only like 150 the left or something. Thing about it too is it's it's it literally is in the like in the parrot order, mm -hmm. and it, like it, but it's like, but parrots are actually like smart. Yeah. Yep. yep. Like macaws <laughs> and stuff are smart. Yeah. This is just stupid. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Apparently, they, they also will try to mate with predatory things. <laughs> They're like, wow, this thing looks like it could kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Got a mate. <laughs> it's kind of a weird fetish, but okay. Oh, also, apparently, it's like? its feathering is like green, and it actually makes it like really hard to see. Like, so other other Kokopo can't see it. Mm. Wow, amazing, dude! So they can't I, the even more I read about each other. <laughs> yeah, the more I read about this animal, the worse it is. The more apparently the oldest the oldest kakapo is thought to be over a hundred years old. Dang, wow. that's insane. Yeah. So yeah, this thing is uh kind of a mess. I'm not sure how it has survived as long as it did. Apparently, yeah. wow, they don't when they found them, they're like the numbers aren't great for this thing anyways. <laughs> but because of humans being as stupid as they are, they like, whoops, I actually brought like a ferret with me, and the ferret was like, I'm gonna kill <laughs> all of these birds. <laughs> So it they probably partially gone extinct, not extinct, but they've gotten endangered because of humans too at the same time. Yeah, definitely our fault. But like yeah. the fact is, too, they barely mate. They live way too long, and they don't have any like defense mechanisms for themselves at all. No, kind of yeah, they're just yeah. dumb. They're Their entire cute. being is trying to just kill them. <laughs> yeah, they're they're a little cute. They're, but it's, cute they're also like they well, become less cute the dumber they are. The more <laughs> I read about them, I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> 